polymer is basically an inorganic cementitious binder which is uh, made by using fly ash and activating these ingredients. Geopolymer combined the benefit of both ceramic material and cementitious binders. For one end, getting the workability and uh, ease of application associated with materials such as Portland cement. Uh, on the other end, we are getting the very high corrosion resistance as well as the temperature resistance that characterize ceramic material. Well, basically, your polymers could be used for virtually any application that Portland cement concrete is used. Uh, but currently, they are more used for specialty applications where some uh, properties are need special properties are needed, like corrosion resistance or fire resistance. And uh, but they they can be virtually used for any application where Portland cement concrete is used. This technology really has the potential to impact um, many aspects of our life and infrastructure. In a sense, it can replace very common construction material such as Portland cement in multiple applications. Some applications where geopolymer uh, may appear to be attractive uh, to the uh, construction and engineering community uh, could be bridges, particularly bridges which are in um, silent environment. Uh, other application can be industrial application where we have exposure to high temperature or a very acidic condition. Um, applications such as pork and pepper mill, uh, wood food processing application, um, shipyard, uh, railway, uh, unloading dock. Other application, a more common application, uh, such as a uh, housing. Well, one of the most important is that you are able to use a waste material to produce concrete, in this case fly ash that comes from waste of the um, energy production. And uh, the other very important benefit would be the durability. Instead of designing structures for 50 years, you could be designing structures for hundreds of years. In a sense, geopolymer provides us the opportunity to construct a sustainable infrastructure. Our goal is moving from gray to green. Well, one of the biggest challenges is the different types of flashes which are produced and each flash has different chemical composition. So we are trying to build a database and we are trying to come to a point where in certain flashes can be used for this applications and certain flashes which are not suitable for this application. So this is one of our biggest challenges at the current stage. Challenges associated with uh, in introducing geopolymer binder technology uh, to the market can be divided into two categories. The first category are the technical challenges. Um, we need to be able to manufacture that material in on very large scale, make sure that can it be laid and placed by construction crews using standard equipment and construction practices. Uh, we're focusing on trying to do basic science, uh, basic research on your polymers and try to understand the basic mechanisms so that we can understand the properties of the material. Uh, link basic science to technology and to be able to get products in the market. We are one of the premier research organizations in the United States who are exclusively working on geopolymer concrete. So we have uh, expertise right from the atomistic scale modeling to the field applications. Louisiana Tech University is undertaking a testing to evaluate the mechanical characteristic, durability, and microstructure characteristic of geopolymer binder. We also develop an uh, extensive design tool that enables us to provide vendor 
with optimized mix design formulation for specific application. Towards that goal, we have collected and analyzed nearly 60 flyer samples from all around the world, enable us to constructing a database which gives us the insight to overcome the variability of fly ash and able to produce engineered geopolymer products which are, have consistent mechanical performance. For example, some of our mixed design can be dry cast, others can be precast in the plant. We have mixed design which are suitable for ready mix application in the field, while other formulation enable you to either trowel or even pump and spray the geopolymer formulation on vertical surfaces such as manhole, pipe, or wall of a structure. Geopolymer binder provides a supplement to current cementitious binder such as Portland cement or hydraulic cement. It simply gives the engineering construction community another tool in the tool set to address application in which geopolymer binder might provide a superior performance at a lower cost. And specialized applications such as launching pad for solid fuel propelled rockets. 